Yo, what is up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty mobile video. Today we got a brand new update and it's a huge update. We're gonna take a quick look at the update in the game. I'm not gonna go and read all the patch notes guys because there's tons. So what I will do instead, like look at the list, okay? There's no way I'm reading that. It's gonna be a freaking boring video of the year. Bug fixes, improvements to the game, some balance change, some optimization. Uh, but the most important we will look at right now, uh, definitely a brand new season for Battle Royale and multiplayer, some new rewards, the whole shop's got brand new stuff, new crates. So we'll look at that right now, guys. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile. Let's get into it. So first thing I check when I got in the game is the Battle Pass. And Battle Pass, the current pre-season one Battle Pass, is not ended yet, there's still one day. And uh, I think tonight at the refresh is gonna be over because it said one day last night at the refresh. It means I will not be able to get tier 150 and get the 200 COD points. Uh, that's sad, but I think really it was calculated that if you don't buy the most expensive battle pass, if you just buy the premium one and you do everything every day, you probably get to 149 or 150. I think I started a day late. Um, but if you buy the extra 25 tiers, then you can take advantage of all these extra 200 points. So I'm at 19,231 and I didn't get enough to buy the 20,000 credits uh, black gold weapons in the shop. Talking about the black gold weapons in the shop, they change and I was super disappointed. You can see right here guys, it's now the black gold M4 LMG. So there's no chance for me now. When I get 20k, I cannot buy the ASM-10. That's the one I wanted. So that really sucks. Uh, I will show you the shop, the money shop. We have new crates, okay? First one at the bottom, you gotta check, it's called Daily Crate. You can only buy one every day, and it's 40 cut points. And it's the crate, that, the battle crate that we had last season with Terrence Brooks. So if you buy one every day, you can still get Terrence Brooks if you didn't get it last time. But I don't know if they changed the content of the current daily crate. So maybe it's still the same. But they have the odds now. And it's 33% to get a rare. It's one every three crates. I could get Terrence Brooks or the Sniper. But there's also four blues at the bottom that are credit. So it really doesn't help your chances at getting it. Uh, the rest is like nothing special. Like a, a few uncommon skins i'm not gonna go uh, into the details now there's a new season weapon crate and no way i'm gonna buy this guys it's really expensive and that's where they put the black gold hg40 and the asm10 so i couldn't get them for credits now they want me to buy some crates and the rest of the content really not not a i mean i already got that i don't even remember where i got it um but yeah ribbon explosion skins the cool knife that i'm pretty sure i have uh that I, I also have and the rest is uncommon so not touching this for sure there's a celebration bundle 420 gang gang and it's just a spray and a card for 420 i mean no tanks uh cool spray but i don't use spray so the shot right now nothing to see guys you can move but if you check the weapons they change the whole set of weapons in the shop for COD points. And the skins are freaking amazing. The magical eye skin on some uh, weapons. It's the skin that came with the, the $20 knife. I don't know if you guys, there was a, a special promotion a while ago. And you can get a knife if you spend COD points. So anyways, it's the magic eye skin. And you got the melon skin also on a good range of weapons. Uh, the most interesting, well, I really like the AK-47, personally, it's one of my favorite weapons. But the Striker also, you know guys, Striker is such a great weapon. So they got Melon skin now, and uh, yeah, cool other stuff like the, the Evil Clown Grenade, if you guys like Frag. But a lot of people post in the comments was, wow, Frag Grenade skins is kind of a waste. Waste of money for sure. And then the Color Burst, which is also pretty cool i guess the rest of the shop we still have some of the older skins like the helicopter purple skin but they added the melon parachute i don't know if there's much more than that but yeah lots of changes to the shops 
Now, second thing I wanted to see, I went straight to Battle Royale and they reset our rank straight to the bottom, guys. We are back to Rookie 1, even if you rank all the way to Legendary, because I had Legendary last season. In the previous preseason, the very first preseason, before there was Ring Battle Royale, the higher you climb in the season, when they reset the season, you don't go back all the way to the bottom. It depended on your current rank. Well, right now, wherever you were, everyone go back to Rookie 1. Checking the rewards now, a pretty cool skin. It's a star skin with, uh, well, I'll show you a screenshot. Uh, we got the parachute, we got the backpack with the star, but uh, the wingsuit also. But there's a, there's a skin, guys, a character skin, Spec Ops 2. I think it was the one on Ranked Multiplayer last season. So now you can get it in Battle Royale. And I'm really excited because, I mean, there's a frame also. I think it's a frame. So it's the multiplayer from last season is now in Battle Royale. So if you guys play Battle Royale and don't like to do rank multiplayer, well, next season you can get the rewards, which is really awesome in my opinion because I don't want to play tons of rank just to get that. Now the rank multiplayer rewards, same set of skin, it is the star skin, but now it's on weapons, so you have a handgun, you have a knife, and you have a frag grenade. Now you get a AK-117, and you also get a M4 LMG. Now the last reward for legendary is a frame, season 1 frame. Last season was a pre-season 2 frame on Battle Royale, well now it's a frame on multiplayer. So it seemed like they want to alternate rewards from Battle Royale to multiplayer when the seasons change. Now last season I saved four battle crates but now they change and I don't know if the content changed. So we will open four battle crates guys and see if it's the same or if it's different content. I'm still hoping for Terrence Brooks but like I said we saw the odds now one in three will be a rare and when it's a rare it's not guaranteed Terrence Brooks. So let's open four, guys, and uh, yeah, see what's up, man. Is it new content? Well, we start with card points. All right, credits, I mean. 100 credits. Uh, let's go for number two. So that's two rares in a row, but that's 20 credits. Let's go. Give me Terrence Brooks or show me something new. Oh, man, come on. Like three rares and it's all credits. Last one. Boo, it's a spray. So Wushu 2 spray, and I didn't have that one. So let's check the content real quick. Yeah, Wushu 2 is in the daily crate. So if someone is not patient and really want to get Terrence Brooks faster, every day you can go and buy one more of these crates. I don't think I'll do that because you get something like three every week. Yeah, when you go on your daily rewards, it's one, two, three, four. It's four crates every week. So 30% chance to get, uh, um, so 30% 30, so 30 chance you get one or two rares every week. So I guess you just need to wait and be lucky. Terrence Brooks, man, I know a lot of guys got it. It's just I didn't get lucky. So that's it pretty much for today's update. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of changes in the shop. Cannot wait to see the optimization in-game, the balance change in the weapon. But what I'm really looking forward to is the next battle pass. The current one is ending today. What I want to see is, are they going to start the new season pass tomorrow? Or are they going to wait for the official launch on October 1st? To me, it makes the most sense that they wait. Because it's kind of unfair if some people start before. But at the same time, it's not a big deal. Because it's just, everyone will get the same rewards at the end. It's just some guys will get it three days faster maybe. But some guys, they just grind really hard and do all the challenges super fast. So but I don't know. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think about that. But the global launch is just launching in like three days now. So uh, it wouldn't be a big, big deal. But whatever they decide to do, I just cannot wait to see the rewards on the new battle pass. I'll definitely make another video when it comes out. So until then, make sure you guys subscribe and leave a comment and hit the like if you enjoyed the video i will be back soon till then watch my other stuff take care